This is ISI BSTAT and BMATH entrance 2014 problem number 6. This says a light ray traveling along the line y equal to 1 is reflected by a mirror placed along the line x is equal to 2y. Find the equation of the reflected ray. So let Stand us understand the problem using the diagram. So this red line here is the mirror. This line is equal to y equal to 1 which is the incident ray and it is reflecting along this line. We need to find out equation of this reflected line. So we will be using the slope intercept form of a straight line and we will need this information. First of all we have to find slope of x equal to 2y then we need to find out slope of the reflected ray and the y intercept of the reflected ray. Before we do these things let us try to understand what is slope and what is intercept. So let's say if we are given a line and this is these are the y and x axis respectively then slope of this line is basically change in y over the change in x for example let's say if we change the values of x how y is changing that ratio so rate of change of y with respect to rate of change of x is actually slope of this line now how would we find that so basically let's say from any point of this line if we drop a perpendicular so this height would be the change in y change in y and this distance should be the change in x so then if we take th this ratio then this ratio is nothing but the perpendicular by base with respect to this triangle this right angle triangle so if we assume this angle to be theta then theta is equal to perpendicular by base uh, sorry tan theta is equal to perpendicular by base so slope of any straight line is nothing but tan of the angle it is making with the positive x-axis so we call uh, slope of any line let's say m y intercept is if the line intersect y at p then op is the y intercept with the direction with the direction means o is the origin so if the y intercept is below the origin then it will be a negative y intercept and if the intersecting point is above the origin then it will be a positive y intercept so we call that c then equation of this straight line would just be y equal to mx plus c where m is the slope of the line and c is the y-intercept. So now let us go back to our problem. First of all, we will try to figure out what is the slope of x equal to 2y. This is very easy to figure out because we can easily understand that the intersection point of this reflected ray and this straight line is 2 comma 1 because if you take x is equal to 2y, and if you replace y as 1, we get x is equal to 2. So that makes this point 2, uh, 2 comma 1, which is the intersection point of incident ray and the mirror. So if we drop a perpendicular from this E point over here, then if we consider that this angle is theta, tan theta would be just half. And in that case, if the slope is tan theta, then tan theta is equal to half. So tan theta which is equal to half. So to find out the slope of the reflected ray, we need to extend this ray, this side and this angle will be the slope of this reflected ray. Now what is this angle? It is very easy to understand that if we extend this incident ray over here, then this angle this angle is theta and as y equal to 1 and our x-axis is parallel so this will be an alternative angle this angle will also be theta and we know because of the law of reflection this angle and this angle will also be same so this is also theta and it is also very easy to understand that this particular angle is also theta because this and this angle are corresponding angles so now this angle is twice of theta which is same as this angle again they are corresponding so slope of this uh, 
reflected line should be tan 2 theta. So we need to find out tan 2 theta. Tan of 2 theta can be written as tan theta plus tan theta over 1 minus tan square theta because we can break 2 theta as theta plus theta and then we can use the formula of tan a plus b which gives us twice of tan theta by 1 minus 1 by uh, 1 minus tan square theta. Now replacing the value of tan theta here we will be able to calculate that this is nothing but 4 over 3. So slope of the reflected ray is basically 4 over 3. Now if we assume that the equation of the line the reflected ray is y equal to some mx plus c where we already know what is m but we do not know what is c. So let's put the value of m so the equation of the line must be y is equal to 4 over 3x plus c. Now we also know that this reflected ray passes through this point p is equal to 2 comma 1. So we can so we, we can understand that this point will satisfy the equation. So we 1 equal to 8 over 3 plus c. So c becomes minus 5 over 3. That means equation of the line would be y is equal to m we know 4 over 3 x minus 5 over 3. So it will just be 3 y is equal to 4 x minus 5. And that implies 4x minus 3y is equal to 5. So this is our required equation. Thank you for watching. We will meet in the next video.